present well this okay mm -hmm. thank you now i am start sharing my mm -hmm. screen ladies and gentlemen let me introduce our research on the topic intelligence system for socialization of individuals with shared interest based on nlp machine learning and cell technologies done by taras batyuk victoria vesotka roman holoschuk Svetlana holoschuk the main objectives of this uh, work is the creative and intelligent system for socialization by personal interest based on cell technology and method on machine learning. The primary purpose of this intelligent system is to identify the user within the system using a natural network and to select similar user by analyzing the user current information. In an intelligent system is created that through identify the JWT token provides optimized and uh, security authorization, lo logging and support function of the current system, user session, finding a face in the user photo and checking the present of similar user in the database are implemented using convolutional and seminal neural network. The analyze the formation of similar use bit and implement using a fuzzy search algorithm, the Levenstein algorithm and the noisy channel model, which made it possible to maximize the use selection process optimization and optimize the time spent in this process. Tools have also been created to view other user profile, preference and private correspondence. The system function where further specified an IDF0 functional diagram where selected to detail the system structure. First of all, to generalize the main function of the created intelligent system, a contextual diagram was created, which consists of the main input and output data and primary data for displaying mechanism and control. Input data includes use login, user password, database, user photos, and user request. Among the main element of control, it's necessary to highlight the access level and requirements that affect the purpose of the intelligent system. A free like display structure is used to display a transparent from the intelligent system and the order to process since it's easily way to represent a clear hierarchy of system elements presented in this uh, show below. Uh, we used the EDA environment development by Microsoft Visual Studio to write an intelligent system for socializing individuals by coming interest, Visual Studio and the C Sharp program um, language are from the same developer and its developer is the most convenient for using the C Sharp programming language. Visual Studio codes had choose since Microsoft creates this demonstration in and easy and interact with other company software products and is very similar to other company products. It is also worth noting the use of a cloud server of storing data and takes up a lot of space and is suitable for storing in the data. All data is stored in table in the relation database and it will be available information is linked to the each other using relationships. The implementation of a neural network that's searched to faces in user photos or companies them with those already available in the current database is one of the most crucial implementation goals in the intelligent system for socialization of individualization by common interest. The following procedure should be followed to implement a convolutional network. Upload the photo, several photos to program, save the update image using asynchronic processing in the database, and then start processing. And as each layer processes the upload image sequently. First, the peanut layer perform processing, highlight to square frame in the photo, the received data is saved, and then the peanut layer starts working. For each bounding box and array in same 
size is created and the pixel value are copied to the new array. Something the image may contain only part of the face peeking out of the frame. On this uh, uh, slide, the wrist figure and scan is the internal algorithm for processing fully format for, for sample in the Levenstein algorithm. Figure below shows user registration and the completed user profile. Figure shows the process is uploaded photo into the system and we can upload one of the more pictures simultaneously by dragging them manually or using the file explorer and also show upload photo of the user. Figure shows the generated list of the user using text processing algorithm and sorted in the descending order by the presentation or simulation. And the next picture we can see the tab of private corresponding with the user that analyzes the evidence of uh, the forming as the same of user than several 12 system users. Now we can get the diagram show below demonstrate the combination of algorithm is more efficient and accurate about 25 and 30 percent comparing with the usual Levenstein one. And the conclusion in our time, the socialization of individual according to share interest in our essential process, since more people try to simple and automate the main life process, which usually take up a lot of free of time. Thank you for your attention. Okay, thank you very much. So maybe you can <laughs> extend well the topic. So uh, we have plenty of time. Well, Maybe someone uh, has questions. I'll do this. Okay. okay, then I think we can move uh, to um, Ade, the next team of presenters. Thank you very much. Good luck. Are the team of presenters. So stay with us. <laughs> Okay, Taras, uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, Vasil Andronik, Tatiana Shostakevich, and Maxim Krivoshea. So, choosing an educational application for children with ASD. Okay, so, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Nice to meet you. Uh, we can start? Yes, yes, so you're welcome. Okay. Um, ladies and gentlemen, let me present our work, choosing an education application for children with ASD, co author of which are Vasily Andronik, Tetyana Shostakovich, and Maxim Krivosheya. Let's start. Teachers, inclusive education specialists, parents and students with autism are the participants of the educational process, which is aimed not only to teach such a student. The correction of communication skills is also the aim of such education, and the education process is complicated with no doubt need to fit it to both individual needs and possibilities of every unique student. Supporting such education process with an information technology allows to simplify the decision making while choosing an application. This fits most need of all the education process participants. Um, Autism spectrum disorder is usually diagnosed at the age of two, four years when specialists can detect abnormalities in communication with other people and uh, the outside world. The difficulties with social communication, interaction, and specific imagination can be diagnosed. A child with ASD has special need, needs in the organization of the educational process. In recent years, new correctional and development, uh, developmental and uh, training programs were designed all over the world, and such applications are adjusted to used on mobile devices such as smartphones and uh, tablets. Therefore, the issue of choosing the optimal software 
uh, for a person with ASD is relevant considering his personal personalized needs as well as a result of psychophysical diagnostics. Uh, the process of teaching students with ASD in Ukraine includes the student itself, an inclusive class teacher, and an important role is played by parents and the administration of inclusive school. In figure one, you can see participants in the process of inclusive education of students with ASD. The most effective technology for improving traditional learning is computer lear learning, an approach that is widely used to support students with ASD. Such technologies are especially popular with mobile devices like iPad. iPod. For traditional learning, it's very important to choose multimedia content with an em emphasis on infographic and visual components that will help focus the attention of people with ASD for a deeper Im immersion in the learning process. There is an urgent need to develop a unique learning trajectory for students with ASD, which will not only cover the, cover the learning needs of such students, but try to address the social, emotional, and communication needs of children and youths with ASD, support their independence and well-being. Inclusive classroom staff should be highly educated and highly motivated. To support a decision making in education of students with autism, authors suggest a concept of an appropriate information system. Such system is to help in choosing the best software to be used in classes. In figure two, you can see context diagram of the information system for supporting the education of children with ASD. And the process here are process software requests for students with ASD, search for educational software for students with ASD, recommend educational software for teachers, conduct a survey of the effectiveness of soft software use, and generate a request to develop educational and development software. Uh, the tree structure with clearly defined hierarchical levels allows to present the structure of the developed system in the front of a hierarchy of, of tasks on, on a different levels. Uh, in figure four, you can see hierarchy of tasks. For the first investigation, the specialized software was chosen. It is software that supports the education of children with ASD and has positive feedback on the internet. Given the above, the most appropriate means to solve the task of online selection of application uh, for education support are as follows. YouTube is a convenient and popular platform for real-time streaming. Google Forms can be used as one of the universe tools uh, for the internet. Uh, the result of uh, the study are saved and persist in Microsoft Excel. IBM SPSS Statistic is a software environment for statistical data analysis uh, that provides uh, the basic needed for the analysis, ana analytical proceed at all stages. RStudio is free open source software for data analysis and visualization res uh, research support and more. The questionnaire in the survey with the Likert scale uses five or seven scale, which is ranked from one extreme relation to another. Likert scale are one of the ways to measure thoughts, perception, and behavior. Um, Prerequisite pre for ability to watch a broadcast in a real time is a presence of an announcement on the website or of the appropriate institution with a link. The description of the stream gives uh, the characteristic of the recommended software application. Uh, the interaction of cartoon uh, character and children with ASD requires in-depth uh, research because developers have to take into account the individual characteristic of each child and uh, the behavior of such children. In figure six, uh, you can see a fragment of the stream where the character is discussed to interact with a student. After the stream, parents, teachers, and anyone interested are asked to download a special design questionnaire, uh, questionnaire 
uh, uses uh, Likert uh, psychrometric scale, implements sort the Google form. The result from Microsoft Excel were uploaded to SPSS statistic for further analysis. Uh, correlation coefficient indicates the density of the relationship between the variable of the array. In the resulting table, you can see height values of the correlation between variables. The isolation uh, of a few factors is explained by the total variance, which works by the method of principal components. Thus, the optimal number of factors is three. The, uh, the script plot shows its own values uh, in the coordinate system, which confirms the number of factors. Uh, visualization of the result of the survey based on Likert data uh, is implemented with the means of Microsoft Excel spreadsheets in the form of histogram and accumulation. A visualization of the result of the survey of respondent uh, to determine, uh, determine the eff effectiveness of uh, the software application mask is shown in FIG 11. Conclusions. The article described uh, the concept of supporting the process of choosing an application for teaching children with ASD. Testing of the recommended software to support the learning of children with ASD was conducted and the results were analyzed. In the choice and substantiation of method and means of solving the problem, it's proposed to evaluate the effectiveness of educational and developmental software by a survey using the psychrometrical Likert scale. The choice and the justification of the means of solving the problem was made by YouTube, OBS Studio, Google Forms, Microsoft Excel, IBM SPSS Statistics. The Air Studio, a software environment for statistical processing and visualization of data that uses the Air programming language, is effective for processing and displaying the Likert scale data. Thank you very much. That's all. Okay, thank you. So maybe questions. No questions. Uh, okay, so and, uh, I see Anastasia Knish has joined yes, our, our session. So, and yeah. the presentation is leadership detection across social media hashtags. So the team of I think you are the representative well, of the team of researchers, Oleksandr Romanovsky, Nina Petruska, Anastasia Knish, and Jean Vorobyova, Evgenia Vorobyova. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm Sorry. opening my screen. So do you see my presentation? Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Super. Uh, so my name is Anastasia Knish. I'm associate professor from National Technical University, Kharkiv uh, Polytechnic University uh, Institute. Sorry, uh, I'm uh, representing the group of researchers in head of which is Alexandra Manovsky. So we conducted this um, research together. And the name of the research is a leadership detection across social media uh, hashtags. So in today's words, leadership is one of the most sought after personality trait. Uh, leadership can be seen both as personality trait as, and as an ability to interact and willingness to lead others. People with leadership potential are good at taking responsibility and making decisions in situations where others lose their footing, uh, which we, what we can like feel in our times uh, very hard. Uh, scientists have been uh, talking about the importance of leadership for the development of society, the introduction of innovation and the people's unification around shared goals since the early 20th centuries. However, in recent years, the topic of leadership has become particularly relevant in connection with the total digitalization, which is making it changes in all spheres of public relations. Uh, the current stage of social development can be characterized by the following features that are presented on a slide. Uh, 
uh, they describe characteristics uh, force employers to take a more strategic approach to the process of requirements formation and staff selection. Not just good professionals come to the fore, but people who are characterized by high flexibility, adaptability, creativity, willingness to take responsibility and demonstrate leadership in everyday life and in crisis situations. Such requirements also need special approaches to the uh, diagnosis of leadership, which will not be limited to psychological testing. Uh, recent research in the field of psychodiagnostics show that the risk of erroneous conclusions in increase is increasing dramatically when testing candidates in the process of professional selection. This is due to the desire of seekers to make a more positive impression on uh, interviewers and testers. That is why in recent years, alternative ways of diagnosing and collecting information about the seeker have been developed. In particular, uh, though, the analysis of social networks. Uh, social networks today are scope for uh, self-presentation and self-perception in the virtual world. On the one hand, such um, a, pre um, a perception in uh, somewhat artificial because individuals try to emphasize their own positive traits and aspects. On the other hand, in this pursuit of the ideal self-presentation, individuals reveal themselves demonstrating their values, interests, uh, priorities, and even personal personal characteristics. Photos and videos, content hashtags, and their frequency of new posts have been analyzed by researchers with a view to determining person's personality traits based on uh, social media content. Um, at the first stage of our study, the level of leadership qualities of respondents was determined to form groups with low and high levels of aptitude for leadership. At the second stage of the study, respondents were offered questionnaire aimed at clarifying their attitude to different hashtags. Uh, hashtags with different lengths, different parts of speech, different orientation. And uh, at the third stage, a comparison of the results obtained in the groups of student leaders and not leaders what was conducted in order to determine the types of hashtags that are inherent in each of the group. Uh, the transformational leadership questionnaire was used to study the level of um, oh, one minute. Yes, uh, the transformational leadership questionnaire was used to study the level of leadership development. The questionnaire includes nine scales and provides an opportunity to diagnose various forms of manifestation of leadership. To study the attitude to different types of hashtags, we've developed a questionnaire that contained examples of different types of hashtags as described in the previous section. Respondents evaluated their attitude to different hashtags and then the average score was calculated in relation to hashtags of each type. Uh, it was found that among women, there were 28% uh, with pronounced aptitude for transformational leadership and 29% with uh, aptitude for transactional leadership and 42% uh, without a pronounced aptitude for leadership. Among men, there were 27 respondents with a pronounced aptitude for transformational leadership, 29 respondents with uh, an aptitude for transactional leadership, and 49 respondents without a pronounced aptitude for a leadership. Uh, based on the results uh, of the distribution, the group of leaders included uh, 190 respondents, including 63 uh, women and 56 men. The group of not leaders included uh, 95 respondents, including 46 women and 49 men. After completing the survey, the results of the respondents were considered for each criterion separately and analyzed in terms of statistic statistically significant analysis. Um, a, a graphical comparison of average scores clearly indicates that a leaders rank mixed hashtags statistically significantly higher and therefore use them more often in their social media. Mixed hashtags allow them to concretize an opinion using, for example, two words or word and a number. The use of mixed hashtags increase the likelihood that a post on social media will find its reader and the opinion will be communicated to the 
uh, recipient. Uh, graphic analysis of the comparison of average scores in the study groups show that leaders rank verbs statistically significantly higher and therefore more often use verbs in hashtags. The use of verbs uh, performs some sort of mobilizing function. Verbs can be used to reflect your own action. Such hashtags will serve as an example for followers and inspire them to perform similar action. Uh, not leaders are prone to express their feelings and share their experiencing, uh, experiences using hashtags. Uh, in this regard, the hashtag serves for the function of search for comparison and empathy. Leaders, on the other hand, assess the likelihood of using such hashtags at a low level, which indicates their unwillingness to look weak uh, or in need for help or support. Leaders are more likely to use calls to action in their hashtags. In this case, the hashtag performs a motivating, inspiring function, directing followers to perform a certain action and achieve a common goal. So uh, the study has proved the initial hypothesis that the hashtags of leaders on social media are different from the hashtags of not leaders. In particular, it has been found that leaders prefer mixed hashtags, which are neither too short nor too long, and contain specific information that make it easier to find an audience interested in the message. The use of mixed hashtags can be an uh, indication of greater focus, accuracy, and organization of leaders' thinking. It has also been shown that leaders are more likely Likely to use verbs as hashtags. This part of speech creates a unique opportunity to activate followers and inspire them. It has been identified that leaders are statistically significantly more often use calls to action on their hashtags and less often indicates the need for leaders, uh, the need for help or comparison. Uh, the features of the hashtags used by leaders on social media in defined in the study can be used in modern, in modern professional selection for prompt and comprehensive assessment of office seekers. The following can be identified as promising areas of research. It's analysis of specific words and expressions in the hashtags of leaders, analysis of the frequency of use of hashtags by leaders on social media, assessment of the uh, prognostic effectiveness of hashtags based on the analysis of professional activities of individuals. So I hope uh, our research is interesting for you and maybe it will be useful for you. I would be really grateful for any of your questions. Thank you very much. Thank it's very really, much. very interesting. Okay, Tatiana Shostakovich, so you're welcome. To the okay, question. Tatiana. Tatiana, I can't uh, hear we you. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. Something went wrong. Okay, I, I, I'm waiting. Yeah, so basic, uh, if we will like uh, look at our research, we can see that uh, leaders are more often used verbs, mixed hashtags and some call for action. So if you see uh, this uh, signs in hashtag of a person, you can make a guess that it's a leader. And if you see somebody who is looking for comparison or use more nouns or small words or maybe like too long hashtags, it's probably not leader. So yeah. Yes, it's the like main function of our research to make it possible to find leaders through their hashtags. But important thing that you have to analyze like uh, several maybe posts or several maybe uh, photos or maybe history to understand that a person really use these types of hashtags for a long time. Thank you very much. Well, so it means that your research is based on the previous uh, psychological findings concerning yes, how, how to define uh, the, the person by psychological tests or what? 
Yes, so uh, it was in my presentation. On the first stage, we just um, uh, make a testing with psychological test, with psychological diagnostic. We made like two groups with leaders and not leaders. And I'd like to pay your attention that we had more women leaders than men leaders among students. <laughs> so uh, women uh, can be leaders uh, too. And um, after that, we analyzed what hashtags used uh, leaders and not leaders and compare the mean scores um, with, um, I think, with ANOVA testing or T-test, with T-test, yes, we used a T-test to uh, compare mean scores of uh, hashtags, the usage frequency. And we saw that people who are leader according to psychological testing, they use more often uh, hashtags which with verbs, mixed uh, structure and uh, average lengths and with calls to action. That's how we did it. Thank you. So okay. do, do there are four of us left. Well, and we have exhausted all our topics and presentations today. Well, so uh, I would like to thank you, <laughs> especially Olya Kulina, the most resilient <laughs> participants of our conference. Well. Take care of yourself. Well, glory to Ukraine, and I wish you the, uh, the victory. Well, and to, uh, to be safe. Well, and to meet Thank you, uh, in the nearest future. So personally, well, okay. Thank you very much for the work Thank and you. participation. Goodbye.